Hi everyone, it's Dim James MCI here. How you doing? Welcome you back to my Let's Play of Eternal Sonata. Last time around, we arrived in Forte City and we're given the task to look for Phil. And we realized that Phil had fallen off and hopefully now we can rescue him. So let's go do it. Open this side here. And it's a bit un it's a bit unclear where you have to go, but there is a little rope here and you do see a little exclamation part point up off your character's head. You just press X on the rope and you can go down it. Welcome to the Gelsandro Cliffs. Gilisandu? I think it said Gilisandro. Oh well. <laughs> so yeah, this, this dungeon is really a dungeon per se. It's more of a enemy area. With a lot of ropes. So get used to this, this mechanic. See? So yeah, now you can go to the edge of these cliffs, press X, and you jump off them. A little unsafe, but Allegro has no problems doing that. And not only can you climb down the rope, but you can climb up it. And we're going to do such a thing to get to this chest. And it contains another Club Clover, very hand item. I've sung its praises before, and I'll continue to do so. Let's head back down to where we were. And down this rope, this rope here. We're going to head across this way. I'm going to try and dodge you, and I failed miserably. Oh, that's cute. oh you got got a print book on me, and wow. So these guys are hard. Why are they hard? Well, they can cast shadow on you. And whenever they're in darkness, they get really tough. So we're going to try and avoid that from happening. Wow, not dead. Yeah, so in the dark they become these scorpions, and yeah, they get quite tough, as you can see, but they're dead. Oh wow, that, a club cover from a drop, wow, that's extremely rare. Uh, don't really want to do that just yet, because that'll leave that party for a heal, for healer, so I'll keep poking the party. So we'll jump down here. And jump down here, and we talk to this guy. It's rare for people to come all the way out here. Me? I'm just a wise guru. I'm the wise guru of this peak. Wait, what's this? His eyes are filled with doubt. This'll never do. You gifted today, I've so jaded it. You've got to be more minded here. Let's rehabilitate your heart with playing a session. So, yes, this is another scored piece session person. Unfortunately, we don't have any of the score pieces to get a good rank for him, so we're going to leave him for much, much later on. So heading down here, and I thought you were going to catch me, but you didn't. Wow. And heading across, past the nice waterfall. And jumping across these little gaps, down this rope. And into area two. If you head across here, and I'm going to have to fight you, at least I don't get a preemptive this time. I am not going to lose this oh wow, okay. Thought, thought I'd be able to block that, and I missed that. Just going around the side of you. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not really giving you any means to get more powerful. I'm going to stun from your wings and attack you from range, because I can. And yes, they're going to afflict you with poison. Now if you block it, you're pretty much always guaranteed to resist it. But if you don't block it, if you miss, if you miss the block, they have a chance of poisoning you and that's not good. Nice. Nice. And yeah, the bats drop angel trumpets. Yeah, these these enemies are really actually pretty good to grind on because I'm gonna put Frederick in a party. And you can't jump down that cliff even though it looks like you can. So heading down this road. And across here, where you can jump down. And down this rope to a chest, which contains a silver necklace. I think this is an accessory that increases defense. Let me see. Yes, defense up three. It's not bad. So heading back up to where we were, but luckily we can jump off this edge to avoid climbing down that rope. And now we climb down this rope. When it really turns up when I say rope during this episode, it's gonna be a lot. And this little area is very difficult to see because you can easily go away. Where do you go? But you can go in here and around. You can even go right here, but there's nothing there. And you can down this rope. And uh, just remember to change my party. No, I didn't. I did change my party. Good. Coming across. Avoiding you. And further down this, this, this room. Getting across. You can see this rope here. You can jump down. And then climb up this this here rope. You can't just jump from the ledge to the rope, unfortunately. Allegra is not Prince of Persia, unfortunately. But up this rope, we do get a chest, and it contains a reed bow. I think this is a really good weapon for Viola. Yep, an increase of attack of twelve. It's pretty good. And yes, there's an enemy there. Well, are you ready or what? Let's get started. Wow, okay. These guys. Nice. This is what happens when you stand close to each other. That's it. That's precisely what happens. Wow, and another angel trumpet. Wow, I am getting extremely lucky with these item drops. And yeah, there's a save point here. So just bear that in mind as we continue on. Oh wow, okay. Thought I had to change my party up, but I didn't. So yes, this is area three. So we head further down this route. Across here. Down this cliff. And to another chest. This contains some floral powder. So down this cliff. And down this cliff. And around up this way. That rope just leads back up. We don't need to do that. Jump across. And I thought I could avoid you, but I couldn't. How pitiful. Soulless creatures. Run inside. Wow, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna heal as much as I can.
Wow, okay. Uh, their attacks are very fast, so that's why they're kind of hard to block. skill by that, but I didn't. There's a rope here, and you'd think you can go up it. You can, but it doesn't really go anywhere, so we're not going to do that. We're going to avoid it. And we're going to go down this rope instead. I'm going to try and avoid you by going down this rope. I'm climbing back up because I realize that I'm gonna miss an item if I do that. And I avoid it, you good. Jumping across these cliffs. And it's very hard to see, but there is a chest there. And it contains a spirit arrowhead. This raises your attack, so it's really good to equip it. And as I've mentioned, I do like to keep these accessories, so... Better back off. And I didn't change my party. Uh. Nice. Oh, let's tend that. Luckily, their attacks are pretty easy to dodge. Oh, I should have went to the dark. But it didn't matter. Now we can head down this this room. And down this room. If I can go down it. And across. I'm going to try and avoid you and head down this rope. And I'm going to try and avoid you and it worked, wow. So now we need to head jump across these gaps. And yeah, couldn't avoid you. Come on, come on, come on! Wow, I thought I blocked that. This is what happens when you stand close together. No 
So we continue across, and we can go down this little gap in here. And you, you can see that, right? You can see that chest. You can get it, don't worry. It contains a large sp spur robe. I never know how you pronounce that, but it is a it is armor for Viola. It's pretty good. Increases defense further. And you think you can do something here, but Whoa, that's one long drop. You really got your oyster step up here. Yes, Salagro, you do, because if you fall from here, yeah, it's not gonna look good. Further down. And I think I've missed an item actually, so I'm going to head back up. I did miss an item. Remember I am referencing a guide, so if... Because I don't want really to miss anything, and... These items are pretty important, so... I, do, I don't want to miss them. But luckily the item isn't too far away. Which is good because I thought I would have to go right, right further back, but I don't. It wasn't there. It's further up. Heading up, further up. Oh, I almost forgot my own advice that that area doesn't lead to anywhere. And unfortunately, anytime you go for a screen transition, the enemies reappear, so you do have to be aware of that. Just gonna try and kill you. Yeah, these guys are a lot tougher. Oh, <laughs> thought that would kill him. It didn't. Okay. 
They're tougher than you think. What did you expect? But it's actually further up here. Can I go across this way? And I forgot to change my party again. The enemies are affected by your shadow as well, as their own shadow, so you have to be extremely careful. And yeah, wasn't gonna block that because it was from the side. Attacks from the side count as attacks from behind as well, so. You're always going to hit me. It's actually up through here, and I managed to dodge you, which is good, because in here is some speed shoes. And you may be thinking, wait a minute, we got those before. Yes, there's a reason for that. And that reason will become apparent later. And I'm just going to head back the way I came. This time I'm going to go down this route because I got that chest. I don't need to go down that cliff again. And this is, I guess, slightly faster? Maybe? But luckily, because I didn't ch change screens, the enemies don't reappear, so that's good. heading for a dime. We have all the chests now, which is good. So we now can continue on and rescue Phil. On them, though. That was weird. They sort of died after I did the special attack. And I missed totally. Wow, I'm playing terribly here right now. I like Secret Signature because it takes less time to do than Orange Glow. So Frederick can become a pretty good healer in his own right. And I missed that card. And I missed that totally. I am not playing well at all. That's okay. The game doesn't really punish you too hard for playing poorly. It might punish me later on though, whenever the difficulty curve goes up a little bit. But for now, it's it's okay. It's not bad. But I will I will definitely need to play a lot better later on. Uh, that makes me a little nervous, but we'll get there. But I think Orange Glow restores more than Sacred Signature. And, oh wow, I'm reflecting it was slow. So you see that stats effect? That's slow. 
With slow, you're, well, slow. Your movements are slowed and it takes a longer time for you to do stuff. But they're all together, so a 24 Echo Queen of Grass kills them all in one go. <laughs> and after every battle, your negative status effects get cured automatically, which is really, really good. Just changing up my party once again. And I do have a healer there, so that's good. Just heading back to where I was. Good thing I remember that I am. As I said, I am using a guide and hopefully that's fine, you know, hopefully that's okay. You better just back off. Because after missing the item in the Tsunoto Village early on, I was like, I need the guide to make sure I'm doing, getting all the right items. Oh, I missed the block, so... So yeah, so if you do it quick enough, you can do Secret Signature three times in a turn. Which is really good. Double slow. That doesn't matter. Again, just switch my party around because I do like to spread out my experience. further down now to where I was. I think I am just about where I was before I remembered that I missed an item. An item is pretty important because of certain things so we're finally here we're near the bottom. Let's rescue Phil. Yeah no more ropes. And you get all the money transported back up to Forte City West, which is really handy because we don't want to go up all them ropes again. Anyway, let's go to the end and report that we find Phil. Right over here at the very end of the edge of time. Alright, so we rescued Phil and we got a free heal out of it. Unfortunately this free heal is not permanent, you do have to pay money to rest in that in again. But we don't really need to, now it's back to daytime. We can actually talk to Phil again, so let's do that. Hey buddy, thanks for helping me out back there. Am I hurt? Nah, I'm fine. I survived living with my mother. Flying off a cliff is no sweat. It makes it sound like her, their mum is like really, really dangerous, I hope. Phil and 
I have known each other ever since we were babies. He's always giving off and playing pranks on people. And he never finishes anything, so I'm always cleaning up after him. It gets really annoying. <laughs> As the youngest brother in my family, I can sort of relate to that. I wonder if this item that I thought was here is here now. No? I, I definitely thought there was a, an item here. I could be totally wrong though. Yeah, it is here. It is here, definitely is here. I, I have to check the guide there. Yeah, there we go. Huh, there's something inside. I wonder if someone dropped this after they've been drinking. And you get lead slug. This is an accessory exclusive to Beat. Only Beat can equip it. So let's equip it to him and it gives him an attack boost of 5. Actually pretty handy. So I was glad I was able to find that because I thought it was during the night time you can find it but it's back in the daytime that you can find it. And we're going to end this episode right here. So, next time on Eternal Sonata, in between the episodes I will grind a little bit because next time on Eternal Sonata we can finally visit Castle Forte and see what Count Volts has for us. So, thank you folks for watching, thank you again for the amazing comments that I've been receiving over the past few episodes, it's been awesome, and I hope to, and I hope to get more. And with all that being said, I will see you again. Thanks for watching folks.